Listen up, TPS fans. We're doing a giveaway. We're giving away either Madden 18 or NBA 2K18. Step one, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Step two, this video needs 5,000 likes. Once we reach 5,000 likes, we give away a copy of Madden 18 or NBA 2K18. Before we give away the game, you need to comment because we'll pick a random winner from the comments. The winners will be announced on the TPS Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram social media pages. So follow there as well. Good luck, TPSers. The Dallas Cowboys own one of the most controversial nicknames in all of sports, America's team. It all started when legendary sports broadcaster John Facenda called the Cowboys America's team during a highlight package of their 1978 season. But over the years, reality has set in. The Cowboys aren't America's team anymore, and it's time to stop calling them that. I'm Daquan Young, and today we dive into the eight reasons why the Cowboys are no longer America's team. And a big shout out and thank you to Charles Cagliari for suggesting this video. Number eight, the line was used four decades ago. It's been four decades since Vicinda called the Cowboys America's team. So because of those two words spoken in the 70s, we have to keep calling them that? Times have changed quickly. You can say the Steelers were America's team in the 70s, 49ers in the 80s and 90s, and the Patriots in the 21st century. Some nicknames have a time and a place. The time for the Cowboys to be America's team is long gone. Number seven. The Steelers have something to say. When it comes to debating who America's team really is, the Pittsburgh Steelers have a better case than the Cowboys. Terry Bradshaw and the Steelers formed the first dynasty in the Super Bowl era, winning four championships in the 70s. When the Steelers visited Dallas in the 2012 season, half the fans were rallying with the terrible towel. Pittsburgh also hasn't drawn half the amount of hate Dallas does. It just seems like more fans in America have supported the Steelers than the Cowboys. Number six, mediocrity. In the 21st century, the Cowboys have only made the playoffs six times. They failed to reach the NFC Championship and have racked up six losing seasons. I'm sorry, but we all know America loves a winner. And fans don't cheer for mediocrity. The Cowboys haven't been much of a relevant team since their dynasty in the 90s. They haven't put together any string of consistency, and they seemingly clog up half the primetime games in any season. Hey, the Cleveland Browns were a dominant team in the 50s. If they were called America's team back in the day, would the moniker stick now? No. Number five, where are the playoff wins? To be called America's team should essentially mean that you're winning a ton of games, especially in the playoffs. The Cowboys went 13 years without a playoff win and only have three altogether since winning their last Super Bowl in the 1995 season. You tend to think that America's team is able to put together at least a couple of deep playoff runs, but all the Cowboys have mastered in the postseason is a constant one and done. Now speaking of playoff wins, number four, the Patriots have earned the name. If you want to debate who America's team truly is, then look no further than the New England Patriots. Here lies a team that has won all but two AFC East Division titles since 2001, five Super Bowl championships, plus two other appearances in the big game. Yes, half of America hates the Patriots. The other half of the country absolutely loves them. And love them or hate them, the Patriots are America's team of the 21st century. Number three, Jerry Jones. The owner of the Dallas Cowboys is, well, an interesting fellow. Mr. Jones has constantly denied a link to football and CTE, which is pretty disgraceful from the owner of America's team. Mr. Jones also parted ways with Super Bowl winning coach Jimmy Johnson because Jones had a huge ego and wanted more power for himself. Mr. Jones invested way too much faith in the guys like Tony Romo and Jason Garrett too. He doesn't know how to run the team and he won't accept when he's wrong. Jones just doesn't act the way a model owner like Robert Kraft does. He acts like a power-hungry billionaire because he's a power-hungry billionaire. Number two, when was their last Super Bowl? Super Bowl 30 was played on January 28, 1996. It featured the Pittsburgh Steelers and Dallas Cowboys. It's also the last time Dallas won a Super Bowl, and yet, we've had to hear them and America's team in the same sentence for two decades and counting. It's getting really, really tired. Back in the 90s, it may have been appropriate to call the Cowboys America's team, but how can a team with so much mediocrity and inconsistency be called that now? Most of America hates or doesn't care a bit about the Cowboys. Number one, they're more hated than loved. Yes, we'll admit that the Cowboys really do have some great fans, and their fan base is spread out all across the country. But in reality, as we said earlier, the Cowboys probably have more haters than lovers for many reasons. People don't like watching an overhyped and underachieving team get all the national publicity on television. The amount of primetime games they received, just pathetic. The Cowboys got six primetime games in 2016. And the fact the NFL ratings were down in that season is no coincidence. People don't care about Dallas and don't need to see them in every primetime game every week. 
If America's team is arguably the most hated team or a team that most of us don't care about, then they can't be America's team, right? Why else do you believe the Cowboys aren't America's team? Join us in the comments below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps us out a ton and we truly appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around on Total Pro Sports though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.